Air pollution is the biggest environmental risk to human health in the UK. The Clean Air programme is funded by UK Research and Innovation. The innovation pilots are focused around air pollution issues. The UK has acknowledged expertise in both research and innovation and this programme is all about bringing them together to bring the right solutions to make sure that we can breathe clean air in the future. Pollution from cars, most people associate with the tailpipe, but actually the brake and tyre wear is a major source of pollution and a major source of very fine particulate pollution, which is particularly dangerous as it can be drawn deep into the lungs. The World Health Organisation reckons that road transport contributes 50% of the microparticles in OECD countries. The UK Air Quality Expert Group reckoned that 25% of those particles from road transport are due to brake wear, tyre wear and road dust. And even as we move to electric vehicles, that still exists. There is no reduction. And if anything, there is an increase because electric vehicles are heavier, there's greater torque, there's greater tyre wear. So it's very important to be able to understand whether there is excessive wear. RL Automotive developed tyre technology products for the commercial and car sectors. We did a survey with 370,000 vehicles, of which about 46, 47% were out of, of alignment. The effects of a vehicle being out of alignment is very costly in terms of fuel and in terms of tyre wear, and therefore in consequential terms for particulate emissions, and therefore in terms of air pollution, and in particular in terms of air pollution in urban environments or heavily congested areas. So one degree out of alignment increases your tyre wear by up to 15% and your fuel costs by up to 3%. If you're a commercial operator, you're spending maybe 20, 30,000 pounds a year on fuel. So if your vehicle is out of alignment by one degree, that's costing you six, seven, 800 pounds a year in excess of fuel, in excess of emissions, but it's also 15% on tire wear. So you are emitting excessive tire wear particles. On average, commercial vehicles are about 30 to 40% out of alignment. But in the construction or in the, the waste sector, that level of alignment is significantly higher. The transport sector is doing alignment checks maybe once a year. On cars, it may be a lot longer. And that requires someone to either come to site to check the alignment, and that truck has then had downtime. So what our company has developed is a sensor which can be easily fitted to the steering wheels of any type of vehicle. That sensor will map the wheel position in real time. And that information will be sent through a gateway on the vehicle up to the cloud. Our data analytics takes that data, analyzes it for levels of misalignment. So in real time, you hit the curb, we can tell you that you have now knocked out your alignment by X percent. We analyze in two ways. We map the wheels, the left side to the right side, and we overlay the two to see how much they're out of alignment. But we also push them into a neural network, which gives us a alignment result. The mapping works very good if the vehicle is going less than 30 miles an hour. The neural network doesn't require any mapping. It just requires data from one wheel and still make an alignment calculation. On our platform, we've introduced an emissions calculator to tell you how much that is costing you in terms of emissions and in terms of extra particulates. We can allow you as a driver or as a transport operator to be able to do what's called dynamic maintenance. So in other words, rectify that vehicle and only rectify that vehicle. So if you're running a fleet of 100 vehicles, 60 of them may not be out of alignment. So rather than sending those 100 vehicles to be checked for alignment, now, you only need to send for realignment those vehicles that are out of alignment. So that saves a lot of cost. So there are lots of wins down the scale. We have worked with the universities. So Chester worked on the simulation modeling, Aston worked on the electronics. And this is a complex project because we're not just taking one piece of data or information, we are mapping the data. So that is 18,000 bytes of, of, of data over a five-wheel revolution. 
We've worked with a number of commercial partners, particularly LNS Waste, who've given us valuable insights and access to their vehicles to ensure that our solution would be fit for purpose and would be easily commercialised. We are a waste management company and also we've got an aggregate side. We're currently running about 85 LGVs between the four depots. Majority of the vehicles that I check need adjusting. With brand new vehicles, I check the alignments on those as well. They're not aligned from new, from manufacture. They're putting the auto line systems on about six of our vehicles to try to test from the benefits. So it's very low cost, very quick retrofit, a few minutes to fix those sensors onto the wheels and then you have an up and running system. And ultimately, we envisage that an alignment sensor should be built into every vehicle. It's a fantastic scalable product. There are 1.2 billion cars in the world, 300 million vans and 75 million trucks. We started with trucks, um, but we intend to move down into vans and cars. If the cars in the world are 50% out of alignment and trucks are 30% out of alignment, then by correcting that, that would save 25,000 tonnes of microplastics in the EU. Thinking about the numbers of vehicles on the road, once this project is scaled and goes to market, it could have a massive impact in reducing the amount of tyre wear that gets thrown up into the atmosphere and into the air that we breathe, but also that gets washed into the rivers and, and out into our oceans.